How do we get from this to this? How do we ensure empty pubs, clubs or theatres will fill again with everyone being and feeling safe? Are you OK? Just to take your temperature? Is some kind of Covid passport the answer? At a Wolverhampton theatre, the culture secretary seemed impressed, but he says it's not just about the vaccine. This is not about a vaccine passport. It is about looking at ways of proving that you're COVID secure, whether you've had a test or had the, the vaccine. Clearly no decisions have been made on that because we have to weigh up different factors, the ethical considerations and so on. But it may be a way of ensuring that you can get more people back doing the things they love and being in fantastic institutions like this. Pubs are obvious places where this idea could be applied, but some in the industry think this sounds like a new restriction on top of what's already a very strict regime. You're putting, again, a huge layer of complexity, cost and enforcement, which in itself is going to cause huge issues with, with a very confused public. And right now, all of this is undermining consumer confidence. Blackpool is a town which lives on leisure and entertainment. At one of its biggest attractions, they have concerns about the idea of a passport, but also they can see the advantages. We would comply if one was brought in. Um, if it meant that we were able to open sooner and safer, then absolutely I'd completely agree with it. But the idea of any kind of Covid passport being used to open up, for instance, the theatres, is opposed by dozens of Conservative MPs and others in Parliament. Internal passports, vaccine passports, would be a tool for discrimination, bullying, corruption, segregation in a society that needs to move through this pandemic and out of it together. Pilot schemes for some kind of Covid passport are expected soon at some big events like football at Wembley. If they are judged successful, the government will probably press ahead. Well, Andy's in Westminster for us now, and it looks as though some sort of vaccine passport will be required for travelling abroad. What more can you tell us? Well, the Prime Minister has already said that some kind of Covid passport will definitely have a role in international travel. I think we'll hear more about that on Monday, about the principle of a sort of traffic light system. So if a country has a green light, you won't have to isolate when you come back. If it has a red light, though, against it, you will have to go into some sort of government-sponsored Covid uh, isolation hotel. And on that, today, four more countries have been added to the so-called red list. They are Pakistan, Bangladesh, the Philippines and Kenya. From April the 9th, anyone returning to the UK from those countries will have to go into a Covid quarantine hotel.